gonna wait for um I'm gonna wait for people to hop on here I told people too for my TikTok to hop off here because TikTok flagged my live um because I was driving even though I wasn't even holding it I was just talking and driving and I don't understand what is dangerous about that but um it's annoying so I know my sister on TikTok doesn't have a huge following. Um, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Please drop some yeses if you can hear me. Hi, Jonathan. Can you guys hear me? Can anybody tell me if they can hear me? Anybody? Can anybody hear me? Okay. Okay. I'm getting yeses. Love you too, Alexa. So, um, if people can, you know, I'm going to save this to my profile, but if you want, screen record this shit, post it on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I don't really care. Post this shit everywhere. Um, so my, I have a sister named Sarah. She went on TikTok yesterday and <laughs> posted a video saying many things, saying that everybody doesn't know, her name is Sarah Haviland, I think it's like 420 Princess is her name on TikTok, so she went on TikTok yesterday or the day before and decided to make a video and say that nobody knows my new truth, nobody knows my truth, that my PTSD and my trauma are all lies, um, she basically disregarded me having PTSD and trauma. Um, yes, Alexa, I'll send it to you. She basically, she dis disregarded me having PTSD and trauma and saying like, you know, me and her were, um, the, we were only, we were only four years different. And if Caitlin has all this trauma, why don't I have any trauma? The bitch don't know she has trauma because she's never worked on her shit. Okay. She, you know, that's why she has a house that she doesn't pay for that was given to her. She has cars she's never paid for that have been given to her. She can't keep a job. I mean, she'll work for a day and then quit or work for a week and then quit. Um, she definitely has some trauma. She just doesn't know what it is, you know. She has no clue what the fuck it, it is that she's dealing with, but she has it. She tries to act like you know, that she just tries to act that, like, everything is fake. She even said something like, oh, you know, the reason why Caitlin placed her daughter for adoption was because she was afraid Tyler was going to leave her. It's not accurate at all. I wasn't forced to do the adoption. I made the fucking decision my damn self. Nobody forced me to do it at all. And I helped her so much. She lived with me while she was in middle school and high school for a very long time. She, she lived with me. I bought her a trailer, a brand new trailer in the trailer park when she was old enough so I could try to set her up on her feet. Um, I said,